YouTube. This your girl Puff Reacts back with another video. Now y'all already know how we do. Let's get into it. We got a recap from CJ on 32s. He letting us know, as y'all can tell from the title, his response into the tragic event that occurred yesterday with PNB Rock. And yeah, let's just get into the reaction, y'all. Thirty-two gang, definitely listen up to this part, man, because you listen up. Might want to hear something you need answers to, or you might want you might just I just might say some shit that you need to hear. I ain't, I'm sleepy tonight, but I ain't that sleepy. Y'all know the last video, I probably said some shit wrong because I was tired, but I I wanted to talk to y'all. But yeah, tonight, man, um, I see that you know another rapper got killed. Supposedly, you know his girl dropped their location, or whatever the case may be, guys. One thing you guys got to stop doing is, oof, yeah. Every time something happens to somebody, um, I can't just be inboxing, like, you know what I'm saying, YouTubers. It's weird. Y'all weird people. for that. Like, why and would you saying you got to be careful, you got to do this, you got to do that. Guys, we already know, man. Like, um, I can't show y'all what I got going on, you know what I'm saying? They always say don't show it unless you're ready to use it. So, um, you better believe if it's 10 of us, at least 9 out of 10 weapons with us. So, um, I don't know, man. Sometimes, guys, you just got to take your own advice. Like, people get robbed every day. People die every Regular day. Regular people. People born in this world and people leave this world every single day, guys. I'm out here living life. Me and my gang, we're going to live life and we're going to move how we move. Y'all, everything that we do and talk about is not on camera. When we, we already got shit set up, like, you know what I'm saying? You post, post after we leave here. Like, we know how to operate, guys. Y'all be getting carried away when something happens to somebody. Y'all start inboxing me. Oh, don't wear your chains. Man, fuck that. I'm wearing my jewelry game. I know some people just looking out. Blame. But, hey, man, I'm going to live my life, guys. Like I told y'all earlier in the video, you got to be, you gotta live life, man. Yes, you got to take precaution. Um, But I'm living, guys. Like, I'm really, really, I'm really, really fucking enjoying my life. And uh, I'm going to live it. I'm going to live it my way, you know. What's written is written. That ain't gonna change no matter what you do. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers die and get killed every day and robbed every day with no jewelry. Get robbed for their wallet. Just get robbed and regular just like, average man, Joe. Just certain man. shit in, in life that happened. Yes, are you more of a target because you got this shit on? Yeah, but you know, and we already know that shit. So, you know, we already I don't care how many times y'all see Martin on the phone, you know what I'm saying? I I'm not expecting no no security guard, no other man to protect me anyway. I had me. Sleep, With that being said, you know, um, I know how I am and I know what type of person I am. I know what type of background I come from. I know how I was when I was in the streets, guys. So, you know, um, it's cool having everybody around. But at the same time, I, I'm, I want to say shit without saying too much. But like I said, I don't depend on no man to p protect me but me and God. And that's it. So, um. I don't know why people always do that shit. Like, as soon as something bad happens to a famous person, they always tell you, do this, do that, do this. Like, guys, come on now, be for real. Shit happens every day. Um, every single day, somebody get robbed. Every single day, somebody get killed. And it's not even people wearing chains, guys. You can come out your house and shit, you can have a nice car, nice bike, or they know you got a video game in your house and somebody can rob you and kill you. Or... They post pictures of these rappers with the the new ring that I got, the five star ring. Like, stop believing in dumb shit, man. I bought the ring because I like the ring. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, gang. It's 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 crazy, man. I'm trying to say the right words so I don't offend nobody. You know, I know how some people get all sensitive and shit. But yeah, I just had to talk to y'all about that. I had to talk to y'all in the dark, man. Like. Stop overthinking shit. I'm grown as hell, guys. Like, I know what I'm doing out here. I mean, like I said, shit happens every fucking where. Places you least expect something to happen at. So, you know, um, even when you... And it's not even say you gotta be prepared. Because you're a regular person. I see it all the time. You're a regular person. And you just driving home from work. Car Jackson is up. You don't got to have rims. You don't got to have shit. Like, y'all got to really, like, 
use your brain and you got to take that advice that you're telling somebody that's keep their head on a swivel that's 10 times ahead of the game like you guys really 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 got to take your own advice because you never know you know you could be next why you telling me protect myself you got to protect yourself too you got to shit man with the way the world's set up today you got to watch everything guys ain't nobody exempt from being robbed or killed nobody like, it's motherfuckers out here that's hungry so you might just have on a, a nice pair of clothes or something you know what i'm saying it's just everybody gotta watch everybody man you just gotta watch everything but at the same time guys you gotta be out here and you gotta live your life man you know you, you can't stop living because somebody got killed like you i've lost so many people guys you know what i'm saying um People, people die every day. To senseless Watch shit. the news. A lot of shit not even covered on the news. So, uh, no, I just wanted to touch base with that, with y'all, with that. Like, because right, cause I, don't, I don't like it. I'm not going to talk no, no death or speak nothing bad into my existing, guys, because the tongue is a powerful word. So, you know, the shit that you tell me be careful about, or, and um, I, don't, I don't worry about that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because... I'm not going to talk some bad shit into existence. I just live life, man. And, you know, I got a game plan and I got my eyes wide open. So, um, you know, I do appreciate y'all, though. But some some of y'all need to take your own advice, man. And, and you need to have your eyes wide open because, you know, life ain't fair. It just is what it is. But I definitely appreciate the gang and those who look out, you know, just on the lookout. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, I'm grown and I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. As you should, and I'm going to live life. I'm not going to go hide under a rock. If you're scared, it ain't even about being scared. I mean, if anybody, you just, like I said, shit, anybody can get robbed. I know I got to move smarter than the average person. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm going to live my fucking life. I'm going to go where I want to go, and um, I'm going to do what I want to do. And, and that's that. You know, that's not going to change. That's just who I am. I like to be out. I like to be around my people. And, um, you know, shit. Just pray for the best and be prepared for the worst, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, until the next subject of something to talk about. <laughs> I'm catch okay, you too. Let's get video. into this reaction. So, as you can tell from the title and from listening to CJ, he's just giving his take and how he feels about the whole situation. So, let's start from point A. Um, everybody's saying that the young lady leaked their location, why they were still at the location. Um, nonetheless, L.A. has been in every news for robbing, stealing, um, breaking car windows to rob it, you know, rob people's cars. Um, maybe I'll do a story time about my events, you know, when I went. To California. I had some, you know, some interesting events myself as well. So, I know firsthand that it's not a game, you know. So, if everybody else in the world wants to keep acting like L.A. is just this, this beautiful place and there's nothing going on, you, you can. But the rest of us that's paying attention to the news, we're not going to move like that. Um, the second point that I want to touch on is... You guys, rappers, you got so much money. You got so much behind. You got 10000 100000 20000 dollars in jewelry. If you know you're going to these unsafe places, why not have security? You know, I've seen multiple, you know, artists and people, famous people move around. And when they go to certain areas, they know to have security of certain people, you know, with them. Unfortunate situation. Um... He moved the way he felt was comfortable for him, you know, and it just unfortunately ended in a tragedy, you know. Um, and I, I don't wish that on anybody, you know, and I'm not saying that, you know, he deserved it because he didn't have secure anything because I could walk out of my house right now and somebody could want to rob me. You know what I mean? Um, we all deal with this situation. I think it's kind of weird for you to just text somebody. Um, out the blue, like, like they don't have the same information as you do about the situation, telling them how careful they should be. Um, 
we saw that Corey, Corey and Carmen, they were at Roscoe's Chicken um, and Waffles. And I'm pretty sure they had security. And I'm pretty sure they moved militant. You know what I mean? Because they understand that it's not a game. Um, the, the generation that we have on this earth, a lot of people are struggling. We're going through recessions without people saying it's a recession. We're going through a lot of things. And you have mental health patients out here. You see Indiana is getting ready to release a bunch of people out to the streets. So it can you can only imagine it's going to get worse. Because now people have the expectation that I can go to jail, get out, and I don't have to pay a bond. I don't have you know what I mean? So we have to be mindful of the changes that they're making and think to ourselves why are they making these changes? You know what I mean? We have to move better. Um telling someone else how to move when they should already know how to move is not the way to go. You know, he explained that to you. He's had money now for some time. And he also was in the streets for some time. So he knows that it's not a cut, dry situation out here on the streets. You know what I mean? Well, well it actually is cut, dry. But he's he knows it's not sweet. You know, he know he can't just be out here doing whatever, however. And from the, the choice he words that he was using, CJ is moving with some type of artillery. You know, whether we see it or not. It's gonna. It's it's definitely. I'm 100% sure of that. Um, we have to stop coercing people into telling all their business, and we as people have have to stop playing into those hands. You know, because I feel like a lot of people play into that hand to show everybody everything. Oh, I did this. Oh, I did that. You know, the first thing you wanna do is pull out your phone, and unfortunately, it's not always the best because you don't have. Everybody that's following you or watching you doesn't have your best interest, you know. So, I think CJ understand that. He know he has haters all across the board, you know. So, I'm pretty sure after him getting robbed, you see, he won't even show us where he lives in Dallas now. So, I think it opened his eyes already. His eyes was already open, but it, it opened his eyes a little bit more already. I don't think he needed any of us supporters. To inbox him and say, well, move like this or do this like that. Like he said, I think we all should make sure we move better, you know, because a lot of times we're out moving just carelessly, recklessly, doing everyday things, going to the store, going to the to the gas station, going to work. Um, anything could happen. You could be stopping at the gas station and pumping your gas and somebody could want to rob you. So we all have to be mindful of that. You know, uh, some of us know people that are out here in the streets robbing and doing some of these things. Speak to some of those people that you're so highly of. Tell them it's not right to take somebody's life over some items that you can go and buy. You know, some things that can be replaced because a life cannot be replaced. Again, that's the video with your girl Puff Reacts. I want to say yet again... R.I.P. to my boy P&B Rock. I really rock with his music and his style. You know, I pray for his family and um, his children and everybody moving forward. You know, life does go on, but it's not as easy when you lose someone. So, everybody keep that in mind. That's the video with your girl Puff Reacts. Peace.